Hello, my name is Dr. Irvin Sani with Spine Center of Texas, and I want to talk to you today about back braces. Technically, the type of back brace that we generally use in our office is called a TLSO, or a thoracolumbar sacral orthosis. All that means is that the brace spans from the base of the thoracic spine all the way down to the sacrum. These braces are large, and they typically restrict the motion in your back. These braces can be used to restrict uh, the motion in cases where people have mechanical pain, people who have fractures in their back from, from vertebral compression fractures, or people that have undergone surgical intervention. The thing I like to tell my patients, because we use a lot of TLSOs in an effort to avoid surgery, is that if you're using the TLSO for mechanical back pain, and you don't have a fracture or you don't have an instability, then the use of that TLSO really should be limited to four and at most six hours a day. Now this doesn't mean that if you're having a terrible weekend you can't wear your back brace as much as you need to reduce your pain. But when you go back and look back a month, on average, you should really strive to use that brace no more than four to six hours a day. And you should be wearing that brace during times that might cause maximal pain, such as working in your garage, doing some gardening, going for long walks, going shopping, Laying in bed and sitting down are typically not good times to wear your TLSO. Similar to a sprained ankle or even a broken ankle, if I were to put a, a splint or a cast on you and you were to wear that for six weeks, your muscles would atrophy. And for the same reason, I don't want you to wear your back brace all the time because your muscles need exercise. We need to protect your muscles and your joints and your discs when you're loading them. But other than that, we want your muscles to get exercise so they don't become atrophied, deconditioned, and weak. If you've been fitted with a TLSO and you don't feel like your brace is fitting properly, then please contact our office to come in for an appointment to make sure that it is fitting properly. Another question I commonly get is, is which parts of the brace do I need to use? There's multiple parts. There's a big plastic back, there's a plastic front, and there's a belt. There's really no right or wrong answer. You need to wear the brace in a way that makes you comfortable and reduces your pain. In fact, I've had patients tell me that sometimes after surgery, the brace makes their pain worse. This is very common right after surgery when your incision is still hot, you've still got staples in the skin, and the brace is just going to irritate them. Don't wear the brace if it makes your pain worse. Wait until after the staples are out, the wound is cooled off, and then you're going to probably find that the TLSO provides excellent support and reduction in pain. But the bottom line is, in most cases, the TLSO is not to protect your back because it's unstable. It's to reduce your pain, increase your function, increase your mobility, get you up and moving, and get you through a rough time when your back is really hurting.